Angiotensin II receptor blockers, often abbreviated ARBs, are a class of medications used to treat hypertension and heart failure. In this video, I will teach you my visual mnemonic for how to remember the names, uses, mechanisms, and side effects of angiotensin II receptor blockers. Let's jump in. Wow, this young man sure looks upset. We'll figure out why he's upset in a minute, but first, let's focus on the angel on his shoulder to the right. This angel is our symbol for angiotensin, or more specifically, angiotensin II, because angel and angiotensin sound pretty similar, right? If it helps you, notice that this angel has two wings. An angel with two wings for angiotensin II. Got that? This angel wants to cheer up the young man with a frozen banana. More on that later, but unfortunately he's getting blocked here by his nemesis, the devil. Since angels and devils fighting on people's shoulders is a common trope, right? So when you think of this angel getting blocked, remember that we're talking about blocking angiotensin. More specifically, we're talking about angiotensin II receptor blockers. Angiotensin II receptor blockers, or ARBs for short, do exactly what they sound like. These drugs block the receptors for angiotensin II. Angiotensin II normally works as a powerful vasoconstrictor in the body, which is obvious since angio means blood vessel and tensin means to tense or constrict, right? By blocking angiotensin, ARBs allow the blood vessels to vasodilate, which lowers the blood pressure. Blocking angiotensin also has effects further downstream in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system by reducing the production of aldosterone. This indirect lowering of aldosterone blocks the reabsorption of sodium and water in the kidneys, lowering blood volume. Both vasodilation and lowering of blood volume can decrease the blood pressure. We'll get back to decreased blood pressure later, but it's worth noting that this mechanism of ARBs is pretty similar to that of ACE inhibitors. Technically, ACE inhibitors reduce the production of angiotensin II, while ARBs directly block angiotensin II from achieving its normal effects. I wouldn't focus too much on memorizing the mechanisms here for the NCLEX, but it's worth remembering that these are similar drugs and can be used for many of the same clinical indications. Alright, now that we've covered the fundamentals, let's talk about some drug names of the ARBs that you should know. What kind of devil would block an angel from comforting this young man? I should have known. It's the shoulder Satan. These two always seem to travel around in pairs. By the way, Satan is our way to remember the Sartan ending of all ARBs. Satan for Sartan. Got it? The most common ARBs you'll see are Losartan and Valsartan. But on test day, if you see another drug name that ends in Sartan, now you'll automatically know that it's an angiotensin II receptor blocker. Because the shoulder angel and shoulder Satan always come together. Get it? All right, now let's keep watching to learn when ARBs are used. With the angel being blocked, Satan sure is influencing this young man's actions. He's already slashed the tires of this car. This car must belong to someone he's angry at. Can you see the pressure coming out? Similar to how a deflating tire represents a lowering of pressure, angiotensin II receptor blockers are used to lower blood pressure in treating hypertension. We already talked earlier about the mechanism here, but let's quickly refresh our memory. ARBs cause vasodilation and decreased blood volume to lower blood pressure. To understand how these effects lower blood pressure, think of the blood vessels as a garden hose. If you have a wider or dilated hose with less water or less fluid volume going through it, the pressure coming out of the end is going to be a lot lower, right? Essentially, this is exactly what ARBs are doing, widening the blood vessels and decreasing the amount of fluid running through them. That's how blood pressure decreases. Pretty easy, right? So just remember this guy, influenced by Sartan, I mean, Satan, to slash this tire, causing it to lose its pressure, to remember that ARBs treat hypertension. Poor guy, his girlfriend just broke up with him through this letter. I guess that explains why he's so upset. Because he's heartbroken, he's ripped the letter in half, right through the heart. This ripped heart is our symbol for heart failure, another common clinical use for angiotensin II receptor blockers. Ripped heart for heart failure. Got that? By allowing vasodilation of the blood vessels and lowering blood pressure, ARBs decrease the heart's afterload. To refresh, afterload refers to the pressure that the heart has to overcome or push against with each beat. Decreasing the afterload reduces the work of the heart, which leads to a survival benefit over time in patients with heart failure. Before we close, let's talk really quick about some side effects to be aware of with ARBs. If we go back to our deflating tire, we'll remember that ARBs work to reduce blood pressure in the body. 
It's also important to note that a side effect of ARBs is hypotension or lowering the blood pressure too much. If you take care of a patient on ARBs, be sure to closely monitor their blood pressure and advise them to stand up slowly to avoid dizziness associated with orthostatic hypotension. Apparently, slashing these tires wasn't punishment enough. Now the young man is walking towards her car with a tarantula to drop inside. No wonder why Satan is cheering. Here at Pixarize, a tarantula is our symbol for teratogenesis because they sound so similar. It's the teratogenic tarantula. Angiotensin II receptor blockers can cause birth defects like renal and cardiac malformation in the fetus, so these drugs are contraindicated during pregnancy. Now, let's pivot back to our blocked angel who was trying to cheer up our guy. If only the angel could get through. This man could really use a frozen banana to calm him down and cheer him up. Because everyone likes cold sweet things when they're sad, right? Looks like our angel snagged a treat from that frozen banana stand over there in hopes of cheering up our guy. By the way, bananas are our recurring symbol for potassium, since bananas have a lot of potassium, right? So, this banana here should remind you of hyperkalemia, or high potassium. ARBs can cause hyperkalemia as another side effect. The mechanism here is beyond the scope of the NCLEX, but in a nutshell, lowering of aldosterone levels reduces the excretion of potassium in the kidney. Hyperkalemia is a really important side effect since high potassium levels can cause cardiac arrhythmias. So, you can anticipate that you will be closely monitoring the potassium levels of patients taking ARBs. Lastly, it's worth noting that ARBs do not have some of the side effects that affect patients taking ACE inhibitors. I'm talking about cough or angioedema, side effects seen with ACE inhibitors, but not with ARBs. This is why in a clinical context, you'll often see ARBs prescribed to patients who can't tolerate the side effects of ACE inhibitors. Just know that ARBs have relatively fewer side effects compared to ACE inhibitors. Now let's review and get out of here while our cars are still intact. Angiotensin II receptor blockers, or ARBs for short, are a class of medication that end in sartan, like valsartan or losartan. These medications are used to treat hypertension and heart failure, especially in patients who can't tolerate ACE inhibitors. Side effects to watch for include hypotension and hyperkalemia. ARBs are teratogenic and should not be used during pregnancy. And that's it for this video. When you see a question about angiotensin II receptor blockers on test day, remember the shoulder angel and shoulder Satan to come back to this scene and you'll be good to go. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.